Kitty. You can't serve a chicken its own egg. But Kitty saw a fish eating its egg once. Ah, that's a bit different. In some rare cases, animals do end up eating their own babies because they just don't have a choice. So in today's episode, let's dive into the wide world of animal parenting and explore why do animals eat their babies. Zoom in! Nature is full of wonders and mysteries. And one of the most puzzling behaviors in the animal kingdom is the phenomenon of animals eating their own babies. I know it sounds like something from a nightmare, but in the wild, this behavior, known as filial cannibalism, actually plays a crucial role. Curious how? Well, there are several reasons behind it. First up is survival of the fittest. In nature, survival is everything and animals have developed various strategies to ensure that only their strongest offspring thrive. For example, in some species of rodents, if a mother senses that one of her newborns is unlikely to survive due to illness or weakness, she may consume it to conserve energy. This energy can then be redirected to caring for the stronger offspring, increasing their chances of survival. This behavior is a form of natural selection where only the fittest individuals are given the best chance to carry on the species genetic line. Even some birds like the American coot will push weaker chicks out of the nest to focus resources on the stronger ones to ensure that at least some of the offspring survive in tough conditions. On the other hand, filial cannibalism can also be a reaction to stress and environmental pressures. For instance, the long-tailed sun skink, a lizard found on Taiwan's Orchid Island, is often confronted by egg-eating snakes. When a mother skink senses that her nest is under persistent threat, she might eat her own eggs. By doing so, she recovers some of the energy she invested in laying the eggs, allowing her to try again later when the risk of predation is lower. Another reason animals might eat their offspring is due to a lack of resources. Bearing beetles are an example of this, who lay their eggs near a small carcass that serves as food for their larvae. However, they often lay more eggs than the food source can support. So to prevent all their offspring from starving, the parents might eat some of the larvae to ensure that the remaining ones have enough food to grow strong and healthy. Filial cannibalism can also occur in response to infestations or diseases. For instance, Japanese giant salamander fathers who are responsible for guarding their eggs have been observed eating eggs that show signs of fungal infection. By consuming the infected eggs, they prevent the fungus from spreading to the rest of the clutch, safeguarding the overall health of their offspring. So in conclusion, although it seems cruel to us, Filial cannibalism is a natural behavior that helps animals survive in a tough world where difficult choices are often necessary. It's trivia time! Did you know the Dracula ants feed on their own larvae by puncturing them and drinking their hemolymph, a fluid similar to blood? Yes, but the larvae usually survive this process and continue to develop normally. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Swana Nerurkar. Hope you learned something unusual today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. See you in court!
Never mind. <laughs>